Ocala Civic Theater.com. Don't wait one day more. Call now. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Eight minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. One of the biggest things you ever got to experience in your life is when you're doing something wonderful for somebody else who maybe doesn't have quite the gifts that you have. Or and and boy, I probably just offended somebody right there because I'm sure that I'm wrong with that. Uh, we <laughs> you know, like us, right? Sorry, Dan. Dan now you're on. Now you're on there. Uh, but I guess what I'm getting at. We have a good friend in the studio. He's a good friend for since I've known Doug Smith since 1972. And uh, he happens to be uh, a, a 52-year-old man. How old are you, Doug? 52? 53. 53. With, and he happens to have Down syndrome. But it hasn't stopped him at all. So just take back whatever I said about gifts. I was trying to say something, and I, I really put my foot in my mouth. Uh, but Special Olympics was something that Doug held near and dear to himself because he participated in Special Olympics. And uh, probably still would if his doctor didn't tell him to be careful, right? Because you got a heart condition now? Right? Uh, a little bit overweight. How come I don't hear him? Okay. Oh, no, I see why. <laughs> so many buttons in this news festival. Well, I know, right? Okay, okay so anyway, uh, Special Olympics is clearly something that um, serves in, in many, many ways. And the third annual golf tournament swing for Special Olympics Marion County is happening on Saturday, October 26th. And uh, Doug and uh, some of the other folks from the Special Olympics were teamed up last year to help promote it, and he's doing it again this year with them. Mm-hmm. Maria Connie Roman is somewhere in the building. I don't see her in the studio here. She's a Special Olympics of Marion County Tournament Director. I think she's on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, Carl Corbin is in the studio. We've met Carl before. Good morning, Carl. How are you doing? Just fine, and you? Good. And I understand Don Nottingham is coming in. He's, he's our N- NFL guy, right? Yes, an NFL alumni. He was from the 1972 Super Bowl champion, Miami Dolphins. It's always good to get somebody of that stature to be in. It's a, like a focal point. We like to, you know, we like to connect celebrities with good good causes, and this is his the, his of choice, right? Yes. Uh, so, um, and love him or hate him, you know the Miami Dolphins. Everybody knows them. Yeah, right? you know yeah. it's it's a legendary team. Yeah, how could you hate them though? Everybody loves them. No, if you love I know the Bucks and you know, know. The, yeah, it's a sports thing. People get crazy about their it's sports, sports teams, right? Definitely. So Carl, and you have your you have a son and a daughter with you today. Yes, my son and daughter both are both Special Olympics athletes here in Marion County. Is that right? Uh, yes, and uh, my daughter is actually the athlete input council member for the state office. Oh wow! For Special Olympics, here. and they didn't want to be in the studio. Uh, I feel like, are we scaring everybody away? (laughs) Kind of shell-shocked. Don Nottingham's on his way. He's not here yet, right? But But he's on his way, right? As far as we know, he should be here anytime. <laughs> okay. I'm watching. As Maria shakes her head, yeah, of course. Yeah. How, how long? How many? How many Special Olympics are there per year? I know there's. I know it's not the same as the Olympics. All right. Actually, Special Olympics, we offer year-round sports training here in Florida. Over 22 sports, and in Marion County, we have 11 active sports, and we're looking to add a 12th and possibly 13th this coming year. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. I, I don't want to ask you to name all 11, but can, can you can you name the one? Yeah, name them all. <laughs> Can you name the one that you're hoping will be part of it? Well, the one we're waiting to get everything organized and ready to go is stand-up paddleboard. Oh, so really? That does yes. look hard. That looks difficult. That's hard. That's that is hard. Have yes. you done it? No, I've seen it. I don't want to try it. Here I'm in fall Marion down. County, that's we've gotten our coaches certified. Now we're just trying to find the practice site to actually go and put the athletes on the board. Have you tried it? No, <laughs> not yet. Anyway. I mean, it look, don't, don't I want to try it. I want to try it. But yes. don't the people who do it make it look easy? Don't yes, very easy. And but it's not right. Uh, you have the twenty-two and ripped. You've got to have balance too. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. We've got. I've seen the demonstrations f- with the athletes f- throughout various parts of the state, and mm-hmm. they actually do a great job. As long as they've got the coordination to keep their balance. They're good to go. Wow. Now, the, the golf tournament is obviously a fundraiser to, to help uh, with Special Olympics. What – give us – I don't want to throw you a curveball with statistics, but is it a very, very expensive thing? Uh, do, do you have a wish list, like a certain dollar amount that right. you're hoping to raise? Well, the deal is with Special Olympics, it's no charge to any of the athletes or their families. Okay. Everything we do is solely funded by fundraising from our sponsors and donations from – 
various parts of the community. Right, right. So, and then to bring in new sports, well, then you have to buy your equipment. Uh, softball, say, we just started that this year. And to uniforms, the field equipment, right, right. field rentals and all this, it can run easily over $1,200 just to start a program. Wow, wow. And that's before you start getting everything of the travel to the basic competitions and uh, all the way up to your state-level competition if you verify or advanced that far is is golf a uh, an, an, a special olympic sport yes it is okay we've got skill level golf and we've also got uh unified sports golf which unified sports is when you bring in your athletes and pair them with an, a partner without the intellectual disabilities and they play even team all the way through so uh, now carl i think one, one of the years in the past i used the word olympia special olympian i think i said that yes and you're we, gonna tell me i can't right you cannot use olympian because that is used for the the olympics the olympics, olympics yes okay. oh so we, it's a copyright thing yeah it's copyright oh thing. okay so all here right. locally or anything when you're referring to special olympics they are special olympics athletes okay uh, so doug so. you're a special olympics athlete. athlete yes okay so we weren't offending anybody <laughs> we're just gonna get sued <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably what it is. Uh, uh, they give a little bit of leniency, but we try not to exploit that. Carl, you know what, yeah. what is most important to me? I mean, the money is really super important, so we want to make sure we express that. But what really strikes me is the the uncalculatable thing that the Olympics, the Special Olympics athletes get out of it. Um, I, and I know this only from Doug. Mm -hmm. Because I, I watched, uh, I've known Doug since he was, what, 11, 11, 11 or 12 years old. Very, very young. And so I watched him go through some of these things. I used to go to the Special Olympics events and mm -hmm. uh, and just the, the sheer look in the face. I mean, photography does a wonderful job capturing some of, some of what I'm trying to express here. But could you tell me maybe in your own words, what have you seen? What does it do for the... I don't, they're not children, not students, the athletes, I the guess. Ath yeah, we don't use children or kids. Right, right. But they're all athletes. At any level, they are all athletes because they train a minimum of, of 8 to 12 weeks to even compete. So they're putting forth the effort so they are classified as an athlete. But as a parent, coach, and air training director, I get to see a whole lot of venues of it. And just the expressions and... The sad of, just to see them how they express themselves, it's it's speechless at times because you can't always express what you see them going right, through. Right. And I just come back. I spent the weekend down in Sebastian, Florida, for our state aquatics championships. So all weekend long, I'm watching athletes receiving their gold, silver, okay. bronze, and are the um, are the athletes all. Um, handicapped in the way that Doug is. Doug's uh, considered mentally handicapped. Is, it's uh, is intellectual it, disabilities is how we, we intellectual. It now. Okay. Yes, okay. we don't use any of the other past words. It's always intellectual disabilities. So our athletes are classified through the community with individuals with intellectual disabilities, and some of them may have other disabilities, but the the common core is every single one has so i wanted to bring in autism is are the autistic uh, a lot of your autism is not classified the same oh, as you. intellectual okay. disabilities but i would say one third of the autism community could fall under the oh, criteria okay. of so, intellectual disabilities. So this is where I'm trying to go with this, and maybe I'm taking an awkward path to get there, but do you have, have you had this experience where somebody who maybe is, and, and I bring up autistic because the autistic students that I've seen from, um, oh my gosh, I drew a blank on the name of the school in town, not Hillcrest, what's the name of the autistic Maplewood, school? Maplewood. Crossroads. New Horizons, New Horizons, and I'm sure they're all applicable. Yeah, yeah well, but there's Crossroads. Oh, okay, so that's the one I know, and, and I know that some of those students don't say much. They're almost nonverbal. Yeah. So have you seen maybe a turnaround in them? Did, did the Special Olympics actually bring out more social skills? Yeah, they actually bring out a whole lot of social skills because when you see in the beginning when they first come to the first couple practices, 
they want to stay there standoffish they stand off in the corner uh-huh, uh-huh. and just watch and once they're included right. and brought in on the basketball court or the softball field then you start seeing them slowly start talking to the one that's standing next to them and then when they're finally to the point that Sometimes you can't quiet them down. It's like, okay, now oh, we yeah. gotta focus. I'm giving instructions. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got it. That's funny. Yeah. But also with the autism, it's such a wide variety there. With right. Marion County now, we're offering unified sports, which means even those that don't qualify under the athlete side of it could qualify and come in and play as a partner. And that still gives them that. Oh, same really? Commute. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So now, speaking of social skills, this guy right here, Doug. I mean, he's he's like a genius when it comes to being a sociable you butterfly. Bet. Yeah, social he, butterflies. I yes. mean, he knows he knows how to walk up to people, say hi, and and uh, he's not shy at all in that regard. So, uh, Doug, you're a genius, a social genius. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you can teach me. All right. Yeah, teach me too, right? Maria, thank you for sitting down. Now you have a microphone. Which one do you want to use? Five or six, five or four or five? Listen. You just pick one. How you doing? Maria Connie Roman. Do I have your name right, Maria? One of them. <laughs> She's just, just the most there. reluctant guest I think we've ever had. You well, might, might be the most reluctant. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll get many, up to the microphone in a second. Many names. <laughs> there you are. There you are. M- Maria is, uh, th- tell me if I have this right, and Robin prepared this for me, so I know it's right. Special Olympics of Marion County Tournament Director. Yes, and I'm the fundraising chairman for the county, too. How long have you done that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 2005, I think, started. Oh, wow, so a long time. A long time. How did you get involved? Uh, I just asked. That if I could volunteer for the really yeah. did you know like uh, did you know of an event and you just went well, and I used to volunteer in Massachusetts for Special Olympics. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, way back when a lot younger. <laughs> and how did that happen? I, I'm trying to get to the beginning for you. Um, well, I just like to do a lot of uh, volunteer work. Since, you like uh, and you're a photographer, obviously. You've been taking pictures uh, the whole time. Well, I like to take pictures of the events. You know, <laughs> or, you know I like to you know. Have some visual whenever we right. have some get together at the Special Olympics. Now, Marie and I, we just spoke with Don on the phone, uh-huh. and he's a little under the weather, so he's going to check back in with us. Uh, oh, he's not feeling tomorrow. Well. Yeah, yes. not feeling too yeah. well. All right. Uh, he has a throaty type of voice already, and he says it's just it's it's almost gone as it is. All right. So. Okay. All right. Uh, and 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 Don is obviously an athlete as well. And uh, so, do you, um, Marie? Do you have a story, or or maybe? And I'm putting you on the spot. I know, but maybe have you seen somebody come out of their shell? Have you seen the Special Olympics actually f- maybe pick somebody up who maybe needed a little pick me up? Yes. Um, you know, like the the reason I got so involved with with uh, you know, I mean, every time you see these kids, you know, I mean. Sometimes they're they're shy, you know, at first, and then, right. you know, like I used to cook for them, like you know, when they're vet, you know. I mean, I would make uh, like lunch for them and stuff. Where? Where were you? Well, you know, I do it at home, like. Oh, at home. Yeah. Okay. And then I bring it, to, you know, like if they have equestrian events or you know. Um, well, who's in your home? Who are you cooking for? Well, no, for the Special Olympics. Oh, well, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you know, I mean, and every time, like. Um, some quiet athletes would come and you know thank me for that I mean it's it's one of the most amazing you know experience I mean uh, I volunteer for a lot of um, nonprofit organization but with Special Olympics the athletes I mean you could see the compassion the you know the appreciation right right. uh, and I mean Sometimes, you know, you don't know, you know, it brings tears to your eyes when they, you know, just thank you for little things that you do. I mean, they, they appreciate. Are there, are there medals given? Uh, are there, are there winners and losers? Are there, are there some? N- there, are, there are never any losers. No losers. Okay. Yeah. okay. In Special Olympics, the organization of Special Olympics is that everyone who competes receives an, an award. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, our scale system goes from first through eighth. If there's another, if there's a ninth person, then what they end up doing is divisioning them by their ability levels to break it down to where you've got enough. Because our our world goes by if you go in, out as an organization and try to order ribbons right. or anything yeah. for the competition, it only goes up to an eighth place. So when the 
when you have a, the Olympics. I got you, right? They've only got three positions. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can't have Special 8. Olympics. <laughs> Special Olympics. We've got a possibility of eight per division. So you just split for the ability level, and it's all split by ability levels. Okay. When you don't want someone who's going to run a five second fifty mm-hmm. against a, someone who's going to run a fifteen second fifty. Yeah, yeah. So we break it down. We've got like a 10% rule. Oh, okay. You've got to fall within a 10% of everybody in that one division. That makes sense. And then yeah. if you don't follow that, then you go for the next division on and, and so on, on and down. so forth. Yeah. But you want to provide competition at every level. We, so you don't ever have a single person running by themselves. You want to – we are a competition make group. It, yeah, I'm sure. So we sense. want to make, make it fun, fun for them. Yes. So I, I, I want to make sure we mention the uh, the golf tournament because that's probably the main reason yeah. you're doing the radio show. But I'm so, just so curious. Is there an event that's funny? Like, is like you know, like, like what was that thing that you did, Doug, with the, the burlap bag? Like two, I don't know if that was part oh, of the special Olympics. The sack race. The yeah, sack we, race. we no longer do anything like the sack race. So all of ours are based on Olympic style sports okay. or some type okay. of that. And Seriously. everything has gotten really structured over the last 15 to 20 years. So, uh, so, so, so what I'm recalling from Doug's days was has been eliminated. I'm wondering maybe, was that, did they take that out of there? Maybe just well, what had happened when Eunice Kennedy Shriver, which is the founder of Special Olympics, when she started the program, it was basically just a field day. And then that was back oh, in the okay. 60s. Okay. And then in the yeah, 80s, they started structuring it a little bit more where you actually went and had to train for eight weeks to get the ba- the requisite skills for each sport that you competed in. And now today's standard, we've actually accommodated to bring in unified partners to assist in the higher level abilities for the higher functioning athletes uh-huh. and but it makes it fun for everyone cool. but we are a competition group that practices sometimes up to nine months out of the year to get perfect wow, perfect wow. their skills yes you know doug's been practicing trumpet maybe he could do the the, the revelry or something at the beginning carl <laughs> carl corbin and, and maria connie roman are in the studio they're helping us understand uh special olympics and and um a golf tournament that's coming up on September right yeah talk about the, the golf tournament a little bit here mm-hmm. so what's what's on the wish list for the golf tournament specifically what do you need well, do you we, need more players we need more players um well still you know if somebody wants to sponsor we're still open for sponsorship you know obviously and um you know what are the details we, about sponsorship? How much? We also need volunteers. <laughs> you need volunteers? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, w- let's talk about the sponsorship. How much is it to, to sponsor, and, and what do you? Um, well, we have, um, you know, the the gold hall sponsor, which is uh, twenty five hundred, and silver hall sponsors, which is fifteen hundred, uh-huh. and the bronze sponsor is five hundred, and we have. Fl- Flag hall sponsors for 250 and tea hall sponsors for 100. But you know, we take any donations, ah. obviously. You know. <laughs> All right, and and, and um, do, do we just call you? Or is there a number? Yes, uh, there's a number to call. It's 462 0380. And um, you could also email us at uh, S O F L. Marion F R at Gmail dot com. Say that one more time. S O F L Marion F R at G L Gmail dot com. And, and Maria, would you tell me the phone number again? I wrote it down, but I want to make sure I got it right. <laughs> it's three five two four six two zero three eight zero. Zero three eight zero. Okay. I did have it wrong. Good. Uh, anybody who missed it and uh, can't write it down, I, I have written it down. Call us here at the radio station. We'll be glad to repeat it for you. Let me make sure I got it. Four six two zero three eight zero. Correct. Okay. Is that you? Uh, that's okay. that's that's you. <laughs> that's me. That's, that's her. It. That's she's doing it. Now, yeah. how much is it to play in the golf? The play is seventy five dollars uh, on individual, and the team golf package is um, three hundred. Uh, we have a lot of goodies uh, included with that. You know, package. Okay, so if we if we want to play golf, and Dan is is one of the golfers. Dan is on one of the. Are you playing with anybody we know? Yeah, actually, I'm playing for the uh, Homewood Suites team. Uh, Homewood Suites of uh, ah. Hilton, out of Ocala. Anthony and I and a couple of guys are going to be playing. So, okay, and are you guys playing the game? Are you golfing? 
Uh, not for me. You're I'm, photo- I'm, work- uh, I'm working. You're taking pictures, right? <laughs> I'm taking pictures. I'm going around working. to be, meet the sponsors and all, right, taking yeah. the sponsors oh, okay, uh, okay. with all the ability, all the responsibilities of. Did we mention where it is? Uh, you know what? We haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Silver Spring Shores. Okay. Silver Spring Shores, and they could also call uh, Mike Castaneda, obviously for. Uh, for information, he he has all the information. And he's with with Silver he's Spring Shores. With Sil- Silver with Spring Shores. Oh, okay, okay. So, what is on the wish list for the Special Olympics organization in general? Is there something you need? Um, well, you know, we just moved to <laughs> to uh, Maplewood. Um, we've always, you know, wanted a place for Special Olympics, and that's one of our wish. Oh, really? But, so know, every year it'll be at the same place? Yes, and, uh, you know, a place for these uh, athletes to get together. Yeah, and, you know. actually having a location where the athletes can come in and volunteer as well because we've got an athlete leadership program, which is like the next step above so where the athletes can get out and start learning a few rec- requisite skills to go uh-huh. out and do various jobs. So volunteering as uh, for maybe filing papers, uh, Working on the computer, and bas- on basic basically skills. teaching them life skills. So yes. like, you know, we'll be able to work in an office, you know, settings, and you know, I mean, Special Olympics is not just sports. Like yeah. so we, you know, you know, we we want to l- let them, you know. One one of the problems I know about that Doug has is transportation. Is there transportation provided in Marion County? We don't have transportation provided for our athletes. Actually, we get the volunteers if they. Yeah, want volunteers to. usually will take in pick a few up and bring them in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So do we have a need for a bus or a need for an RVs type of thing or just uh, separate cars? Well, what happens with when you start bringing in, if we have our own transportation, then we have to go out and get the insurance on it. We've got to have ah, our, right. our drivers and all of these people have to fall under certain guidelines of Special Olympics and our insurance companies at that time. So oh, gotcha. we just have rental cars if we yeah. have, you know. When we go on trips, we go to the one of the rental companies rent the vehicles and then we have our volunteers which are already certified to drive as drivers to these various locations oh very good uh well the big thank you is for what you're doing with special olympics i think that is awesome and and i hope you realize how much we appreciate it as a community we appreciate what you're doing you make us better by doing what you do Well, uh, I wish the two athletes could have been in here to say something. Are they shy? Pretty much. Yeah, they, they were shell shocked because I got on them out of bed and said, well, oh, "Let's go." Oh, they let's. didn't know. They didn't yeah. know. Uh, well, and thank you also for coming into the studio. And well, ho- thank you ho- for having us. Hopefully, I mean, we can been, help you. You've been a big supporter for Special Olympics. You know, since we we started this, uh, you know, golf tournament, and you know, we appreciate that, and the athletes appreciate that. You know. Yeah, yeah. And and Doug has one thing he wants to say. <coughs> It's uh, the ribbons like um, the first, the second, and third. All right. In our area competitions, we offer. Five. No, we go all the, all the way up to eighth place. No, is the, if we're doing the ribbons. It. He's asking. Yeah, the ribbons will go from first to eighth. And then if you advance to what's known as area competition, which is the next level up, they would also be ribbons. But they're indicated by saying either county competition or area competition. Mm-hmm. If you get to area competition and you get a first place then your name goes into a hat to be selected for possible state selection once you get to state selection then at state level is when we offer the gold silver and bronze medals for first second and third and then fourth through eighth are also ribbons but it says it's a state competition Ah, and then if you get first at state level Every couple of years, we have higher competitions, which are your national level and regional levels, and then World Games as well. We're just like the Olympics in that level that every four years, we're either doing a oh, really? winter competition. Oh, I didn't realize that part or of it. Two years after that would be the summer competition. Oh, wow. We've got, uh, actually, this coming year, uh, we've got a national games in New Jersey next june for any teams that have advanced above state level so they had to have gotten first place at state level and then state selects who goes as team florida to our national and our world levels that is cool very good is any archery no we don't offer we (laughs) 
Archery is offered in Special Olympics nationally or worldwide, but here in Florida, we haven't gotten an archery team formed as of yet. But okay. it is an ability that we could bring it to Florida if there is enough interest. Well, there you go. Carl Corbin, thank you for coming in. Maria, Connie, thank Roman, you. thank you for coming in and for and for finally sitting at the table here. <laughs> I usually don't thank, do thank you for what you're doing and anything we could do to help. For the listeners, if you want to help, 462-0380 is the number. Call Maria and she'll help you out whether you want to sponsor or actually play the game and you'll be playing alongside Dan Mardo and he'll be out there somewhere. Bring it. <laughs> All right. I thank you both so much. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Don Nottingham will be bringing some some uh, more and NFL alumni. We're, we're looking at about four or five NFL alumni that will be out there the day of and possibly placed on individual teams as well All right. Right. To, All right. Thank to draw some of these uh, teams to come and play. <laughs> and we are looking for volunteers. Thank you so much. Uh, we do have to make a, take a little break, and we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, the source?